Hello, I am Yed4455, and welcome back to Banished in the Forest of Oak. Right, our town is starting to expand, which is, well, it's pretty sweet. Um, we're still having a little bit of resource issues, uh, stone we're losing out on. Uh, we're going to need a lot more wood. But that being said, we're we are keeping up with things pretty well. Um, we are going to have to figure out more farms. Now, I definitely have the people. Just got to figure out where I want to put these. Um, there is not a lot of space anymore. I could do it... Like, this is probably the most flat land I have. And it's kind of a shame that I put my industry there, but... This might be a good area for some farms as well. I mean, I'm going to have to clear a lot. It's going to take a lot of work. And I kind of need stuff now. I mean, that being said, I, my farms are fine. I mean, my food levels are fine. It's just, you know, I'm running into that issue. Of if I expand any more without having to deal with this farm situation, that's where I'm going to start running into pr trouble. So, this might also be a good area as well. I think it's close enough. Yeah, let me go ahead and start doing that. Okay, what is the exact place I can start putting these? Okay, let me try here. Okay, that's a no. Okay, so we're going to have to probably start here. Okay, then we have to move two in. Oops. Actually, that's fine. I think that's actually good enough. And then I'm going to build another one right next to it. Okay, that's all farm. Here we are. A 15 by 15 there. Excellent. And then we're going to have to just do some roads. Ah, there it is. Okay. And then we'll just have to connect that to... Oh, shoot. Why does it... Sorry, these roads are crazy sometimes. Alright. Let's get that going. we are and then we'll just run it right along here and then finally connect it here there we are so we'll get two forced or not two forced uh, two farms going over on this side and then this will be the start of a new new farmland because I think there's a lot of open space over here so yeah we'll just take care of this and that would be fine Alright, it is harvest time. Alright. Got plenty of plums. Alright, we do have more leather. Let's go ahead and move a few more into the trading post. There we go. Good trade stock there. And man, do I got a lot of workers. Okay, I definitely, definitely... Need to start expanding out my industries. And is there anything that does not have full people? Um, let me go ahead and throw two traders in there, because I could always use traders. Okay, what am I low on? Logs, logs, and logs. Well, let me consider this for a minute. Um, it's a hunting lodge. Now, I could build another... Oh, I already am. Okay, I am building a Forester's Lodge. I just need logs and stone, as it were. Which, actually, I'm going to get a lot with these farms over here. So, that's actually... This actually works out. Okay, so everything's pretty much removed here. I just got to actually collect everything. Then it'll be the same over here. Right, 
Let me go ahead. There we are. Build a road on this side just to kind of, uh, kind of even everything out, square everything out. Um, I could always build a tunnel here, but again, tunnels cost a lot of money. So I think this will be fine for now. Okay, everything will go back to the town, which is fine. And I finally got all those removed and finally things are going here. So this actually works out well. So I should consider... Some type of... Okay, that is the end of that location. Okay. So if I were to build this road out to here... Let's see if I could actually do a tunnel here. Oops, that's a road. No. Not what I wanted. I want this tunnel. Alright, now theoretically... I could do it, but I'm going to need a boatload of steel and stuff. That I don't have. Okay, let me go ahead and do, oops. All right, Tunnel, I don't need you anymore. There we are. Um, do a bean field here. And then as soon as that's removed, we get another field on the other side. Probably potatoes. Because, yeah, we're just at the point where food is starting to become a little bit of an issue. I mean, I do have 100 people working or in, living in my town now. So, it is a little bit of an issue. So, as much as it would be nice to get a tunnel through here, it's going to cost way too much. Now, maybe if I were to get a trade for iron or steel or whatever I need, what do I need? Oh, is that stone? Okay. Well, if it's stone, stone I have. Stone I can get for relatively cheap. So there'll be no issues there. All right, we just gotta finish getting this done. And it's so weird, they can't put a road there. I mean, it's mostly there. It's not all the way there. And we just need to finish that up, because it is almost time for spring. All right, we do have a trader. What do you have for me, Mr. Trader? Sheep. Ooh, I would love sheep. Uh, how much can I get? Ooh, I think I have enough. 120 times 10. Perfect. Trade. Yes. Okay. Now, we're going to make a livestock pen. Um, this is going to be the hard part. It's finding, again, finding space for it. That is the hard part. So where am I going to get the space? I could build a small one. I could put it on this side, which I actually, I think this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to put it right over here. I do want this large. How big can I make this? Right, let's see. Let me start it here. How big can I actually make this thing? 20 by 20? And it looks like I could do 20 by 20. It's just where am I going to place it? Like actually, actually place it. You know, I think it's going to have to be over here. And yet there's hills over there. Hmm. Trying to find... A proper place for this is gonna be difficult. Okay, let's get some more farmers in there. Because uh, there's a hill over here that I did not realize. 
And I need to make this big. So I'm gonna think about where I want to put that. Put some more potatoes over there. There we go. Full farmage. Excellent. Not a spring, so they should be able to get that planted. Uh, firewood, we're starting to catch up on. Alright, I got my sheep. You could go ahead and be dismissed. Uh, where can I put these guys? I mean, I have the space over here. I have it on this side. You know, it's gonna... I might have to do it over here. And then just make a smaller... Yeah, maybe... Yeah, I think this is... This will work. Alright, so we'll put a pasture over here. I need... A, oh my god, that's a lot of logs. Alright, well they gotta remove seven trees. And then they need a bunch of logs. What's over here? They're regrowing their trees. And I could actually clear cut some. All right, what's going on over here? All right, I do have more foresters that I can throw in there. Oh, but my food is so low. All right, now it's time to release some of that food. So yeah, that was what I was worried about. So let's go ahead and... I only want 500 now. From there, and 500 from here. So I am totally out of food. So I'm gonna move a thousand back in. Yeah, that's what I was worried about. Was just the food issue. Oops. Oops, oops, oops. There we are. Alright. So let's hopefully, uh, they didn't grow anything. Oh, they did. Okay. They are planting. Excellent. They are planting food. All right. So this should at least get us there. Hopefully those two farms work the way they're supposed to. All right. I do have a hunter. Let me go ahead and add another f couple foresters. Yeah, this will work. I'll get the 12 foresters. Anyone else will become there. And I'm going to hold off on building schools or anything. Until I get um, over over a hundred people, but this food is not lasting long. Like I threw a thousand in there, and it's gone. I mean, gone. All right, so food is going to become an issue. I'm glad I started expanding out these farms. Uh, Alright, gathers. You guys gotta do a lot better than what you're doing. Alright, because now I'm out of logs. All right, it is harvest time. End of summer, so they are starting that. So there's at least one positive thing. Right, they're planting and growing, so hopefully they can work faster. And I got plenty of iron now. Iron is not an issue. They're still planting in late summer, so I don't know. It's going to be a late harvest, but I think we'll be fine. It's not as big a crop field as I'd want, but it'll work. And then we are going to need another crop field here. All right, well, actually, I think what we're going to have to do... We're going to need to build, I think, another fishing lodge. Because I'm going to need something to kind of help out in winter. So let's try to add another fishing dock here. Oh, wait. I do have one on the other side. Ah, I do. Okay. I remember now. I did build this one. And it is working on food, so that's excellent. All right. So everyone I get is going to go to be a fisher. And then once the farmers are done, I'm going to cut some of them, move them to fishing, because I'm going to have to work on supply of food over winter. Or over, well, winter, because I'm not going to bring any in. And then we have to keep in a steady little income to survive summer. 
At least while all the plants are growing. So this one's gonna be tough. We'll make it work. Alright, and then we'll go and do clear cut some forest once everything's done. Um, actually, I will get that prepped now. Because I have all this forest over here. Nope, nope. All this forest. That I'm pretty sure just needs to be cut down. There we are. And then the best thing is it's so close over here that it's just a short little run for all the laborers. It's just going to take longer to get it to where it actually needs to go. But that'll be fine. That being said, we're not doing too bad. It's just now that because we have such little amounts of wood. Because I'm trying to build that pasture. We're going to have issues come winter with firewood. All right, we'll add another fisherman in there. So yeah, that one has three. So yeah, they should each have three now. All right, and that's worrisome is I, I barely got 4,000 food before it got cold and everything died off. So yeah, food is going to be an issue this winter. So I'm going to have to hope that I can get stuff traded. And it might be time to think about moving the rest of that food in. Or move it over. Okay. So let's drop two of them. Go ahead and make them fishermen. Then we'll get that built. Then we'll get a couple herdsmen. Wow, I do have a lot of laborers now though. Alright, what am I low on? Logs, yes I understand that. It's unfortunate, but it's the reality of everything. I mean, it's such a shame. I have enough farmers for everything. You know, you think having three things of Forester's Lodges would get me the food and stuff I need, or the wood I would need, to keep up with two woodcutters and a... and a blacksmith, but it's not. And I'm starting to run out of tools because I don't have enough wood. Uh, irritating, but we'll get it. And I think everything is starting to grow back over here. So we could conceivably clear cut this side. And get everything we need from there also. It's just tough that everything this winter is going to be a little bit tough. And hopefully we don't lose anybody because they're too cold. Because as you can see, firewood is an issue this year. And it's all because I need this pasture to kind of help with food. But that being said, I almost have enough wood for that. So at least that's a positive. And it's almost time to possibly consider building a trader in town so that everything kind of goes to a centralized location. Uh, I don't need sheep. Uh, chickens would be a possibility, but I don't need sheep anymore because I already have two that are going to go over here very shortly. And all that looks good. And finally, we're starting to get some firewood back. So that's really good. Fishermen hunters are set. I could consider another gatherer. Uh, health is so low. So, so low. I can't believe that they are unable to keep up with the demand of medicine they need. They've never been able to keep up with medicine. So I might have to build it over here. I mean, this is a pretty good forest. I mean, I think much better than this side. So it is definitely something to consider moving that. And yeah, I definitely think food is going to be a major concern over the summer. Because I'm already down to less than 1500 in food costs. So that's going to be a concern. 
All right, you guys got to build that quicker. Let's go ahead and... No, oh, I got enough workers. Let's go ahead and move that up. Um, it's going to be spring soon, so let's move the farmers up. And I still have seven laborers. Um, they're starting to get tools. Yep, there's the people starting to die from freezing. I mean, luckily it's early spring, and I think I only lost one person. So far. I mean, there's still five in danger. There's another one. Dang it. Alright, but it is warming up. Uh, come on, people. There goes my population because they're too cold again. What did I lose? Six now? Seven? Eight? Nine? And it's not cold, it's 45 degrees. You'd think that they'd be fine now. Uh, all right, firewood. All right, let's get these sheep over here. All right, we got to cut farmers for this, but we're going to have to. Because I need to keep those laborers. Because how else are they going to get wood over? And right, that should work. Now, hopefully we don't have another issue with winter like we had. Because that was stupid. <sighs> okay, so we're going to have food issues this summer, definitely. I mean, as long as those fish and that venison keep up the pace, we might just make it through. Alright, we are moving the sheep over. They have this huge, huge pasture over here. Where we could get 25, and then we could start getting wool. And that would help... Especially with all this stuff I got planned, alright. How's the leather doing? I got 74 saved up. Alright. And we're starting to get our workers back, so that's good. Uh, farmers are a little short. Health is abysmal. But we are starting to get our logs in place. They're still clear-cutting a lot of this forest, which is fine. And... Is that saying there's people without a home? Hmm. Right, well, luckily, I do have enough resources to build a house. Let's go ahead and do that. Alright, we'll get one house built. So I need to take 16 of my logs, which I have, and 8 stone, which I have. And food is an issue, so we're going to cut the rest of our reserves in there. Alright, so there goes all our reserve food. But we have to ensure that food is fine throughout the summer. So I was a little concerned about that. So hopefully this year's harvest would be excellent. Yeah, we're missing out on tools. We're missing out on food. So, yeah, everything is low. But we're getting everything back. We're going to build... Probably have to make a couple more farms. But I think everything's look... I mean, it looks good. But actually being good is... Another issue entirely. Man, I could cut. Yeah, let's get some tools back. Because uh, I, yeah, I'm missing. A lot of people are missing tools. I mean, they're going to build them up more. There's a lot of people without tools. Man, the sheep are fine. Now, as long as they make more sheep before one of them dies, I think that will be fine. Alright. And we're almost completely set with our firewood again. 
Mostly because I am starting to get a handle on the amount of wood I need. I'm up to 50. Ah. And unfortunately, I do not have any stuff to handle a fire, so I'm going to lose a house. Maybe a couple more because they're so close together. Uh, this is unfortunate. Yep, I just... Let's rebuild that. Luckily, I only lost the one. But alright guys, I think it's going to be an excellent place to put in a pause. If you like what you watch, please consider subscribing to my channel. Also, don't forget to check me out on Facebook and Twitter to stay up to date with all the latest news. And also head on over to Patreon and support all my crazy projects over there. So I am Yed4455. Thank you for watching. Goodbye.